I welcome you to this moment around God's Word and prayer again today. As we continue in our series out of Jeremiah, we're reminded of the power of an object lesson. If you're a teacher, you understand that, or a communicator of any kind. Nothing like a visual to communicate a point. Well, this is probably the most powerful, most famous uh, object lesson anywhere in the Bible. It's when in Jeremiah 18, God asked Jeremiah to go to a potter's house. This is verse 1. The word of the Lord came to Jeremiah. Go down to the potter's house and I will give you my message. So Jeremiah says, I went down to the potter's house and I saw him working at the wheel. There have been thousands of sermons illustrated and preached through what Jeremiah saw as he watched the potter work the clay at the wheel to design some kind of beautiful a uh, piece of, uh, of, of fine china or whatever he was making. Th- th- this has inspired many, many songs, actually, as we talk about being like the clay ourselves in the potter's hands. I preached on this myself uh, a number of years ago uh, at a church where a world-famous sculptor attended the church. And so I actually had him help me preach this message And uh, I'll never forget him talking about the clay and how he would work with the clay and what this potter must have done. And and, and he said, you know, clay comes in different forms. Uh, Some's pretty ready to go and others, other kinds of clay really need some preparation. But no matter how earthy things start, it, 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 it can be turned by the potter, especially a master potter, in some, into something glorious and beautiful. And he said, when the clay does need to be reconditioned and better prepared, um, he said, you usually do that with two things. You do it with moisture and you do it with pressure. The pressure helps get all the air bubbles out of the clay so that when, when it's fired in the kiln, uh, those air bubbles won't explode or the, or, or, or the piece that's being created won't just fall apart. And, and, and that, that's the pressure it takes. And then there's the moisture. What a powerful illustration of how God works in our lives. That, that pressure, you know, we, we don't always appreciate the pressure, but he's, he's, he, he's, he's getting the lumps out of the clay and getting the air bubbles that would cause us to self-destruct later. He's getting these things out, his pressure. And then the moisture of the water of his spirit, that powerful picture here of how God works in us. And then he said, what Jeremiah will find out next. He said, the, the wonderful thing about working with clay is that when you make a mistake, you don't have to throw out the clay. You can just break it down and rework it again. And so this is exactly what Jeremiah notices. He says in verse 4, but the pot that the potter was shaping from the clay was marred in his hands. Such a picture of our lives. So often when we're in process, even trying to follow the Lord, we, we get marred and, and, and we make wrong choices and, and we're just not cooperating with what God's wanting to do in our lives. And he said the potter he was shaping from the clay was marred in his hands. So the potter formed it into another pot. Did he throw out the clay? No, that's a beautiful thing. When, when the clay is marred, you don't have to throw it out. You just need to rework it. And this is God's great plan for our lives. If you're marred today, if, if you just feel terribly scarred and broken, um, you're not worthless. You're not going to be thrown out. You're going to be like the clay in the potter's hands, and he's going to remake you. You may not enjoy the pressure for a while, and we all appreciate the water of God's Spirit that comes into our lives, but he's not going to throw us out. And so, Lord, as we come to this amazing object lesson, we thank you that we, you can work in us what is your purpose. You have a shape for our lives, Lord. And we thank you like a potter. You're shaping us into what seems best for you. Lord, help our resistance not to stand in the way. Lord, we just pray that we'll be yielded and willing and that at the same time, you will never give up working with us. We praise you for that. Here are our lives again. Shape, even today, with pressure and with the water of your spirit, shape the beauty of your masterpiece in our lives, we pray. In Jesus' name, amen.